too far away from the camera? Am I getting washed out? I feel like I'm super, like, super bright outside. It's so nice. I should go outside. <coughs> it's Earth Day. I don't want to drive anywhere. So, uh, I'm just, we're just here now. We're just, we're just here. Uh, did I tell you it is my 8,575th day alive yet? Because now I did, at least once. Um, and it's Thursday. I was going to talk about politics. Because there's, there's, like, a lot happening. And, uh, I think the best way to, like, break it down is to... Just like list global superpowers, or what I consider to be a global superpower, and what they're currently doing wrong, because there's not a single global superpower who's doing anything productive right now. For instance, China, global superpower, are currently fighting over a little island. Why do they want that island? Uh, they, they, the island, Taiwan, you might have heard of it doesn't want to be a part of China, and like, I get it, I don't want to be a part of China either. So, um, why don't, why does China want it so bad, you know? We're not trying really hard to get our islands. We got Hawaii, that was more than enough. We left Costa Rica alone. Is that an island? We left Panama? No, we didn't leave them alone either. Russia, uh, is doing... Russia things, as always, Vladimir Putin is currently backing away from Ukraine, which, why were you at their border, sir? Why did you even think that was an okay thing to do at first? And secondly, Putin has also said that anyone who gets on Russia's bad side will not enjoy it. So that's concerning. Uh, I think uh, that Russia and U.S. are not friends right now. And I don't really want to be on Putin's bad side, because I don't really want to regret anything. But I don't really want to be on Putin's good side either, because Putin is not on the side of freedom. And so, uh, Vladimir Putin, if you somehow find this, uh, do, you want freedom for some people, right? You like being free. You're more than free. You're in charge of your country. So, why don't you just, mm, I don't know. Just mind your own business, you know? Stay in your lane. I don't know. I'm not in my lane. Who am I to talk, you know? I'm talking to global superpowers right now. And global superpowers are doing global superpower things. China's trying to expand. Russia just stopped trying to expand, but are also saying, watch yourself. Hey, watch your step. Let's move on to the next global superpower, right? The United Kingdom, might have heard of them, recently lost one of their leaders, but he was a walking corpse. And so he didn't really do anything except promote racism. And so uh, they're not doing great right now. Their economy is really hurting because of COVID. And quite frankly, that's not our problem. I, I'm so happy that a world superpower is focusing on themselves before they focus on expanding some more. But the United Kingdom has expanded so much that maybe, hear me out, maybe y'all need to relax. Y'all need to stop, stop expanding. Y'all need to, I don't know, are y'all ready for a war? Don't be ready for a war. Let's, let's all agree that we're done with wars. Is that okay? Can we be done with wars? Maybe. UK seems a little done with wars. That's kind of cool. Should we move on? Because the UK is not really that important to me, an American. Yeah, yeah, we should. France, on the glass half full side, is about to allow, like, tourists again in May, which is exciting because back to normalcy. But on the glass half empty side, the we're closer to a war side, uh, France is saying, hey, you better, you, uh, France is telling Russia, hey, don't kill this guy who says he doesn't like what you're about, because that'd be, that'd be morally wrong. If you do that, someone's going to have to step in. And I'm glad that France thinks they're the ones who can step in. But I think France knows if they step on Russia, we're going to have to step with them. And, uh, oh no, back in, back in like 2019, totally would have been America and Russia versus France. But now if it's America and France versus Russia, I don't, I don't know who wins. Because we can't step on Russia. Uh, the, the globe's not hot enough for us to have a war with Russia and Russia's home turf. And I really don't want a war to come to America. 
So if France, if you're offering to be the battleground for the war, uh, don't. Don't do that. No one wants to be the battleground for the war. I think that's simple, right? Is there another global superpower? I've named China, who's arguably not a global superpower, but they're scary. I've named uh, the UK, France, Russia. Uh, is there the United States? What are we up to? Uh, we're just on fire right now. We're condemning people uh, overseas while also perpetuating uh, not greatness over here. And I'm not saying... I, I, I hate that Trump took the word great because it's just such a great word. So when I'm talking about the greatness of America, it's not to make America great again. America was never great. I want to make a great America. Okay? Okay. I don't want to talk about America anymore. Do you want to find another global superpower? Germany, you might have heard of them, they lost two world wars, are currently trying to uh, control their people a little better uh, because COVID and stuff. But uh, it's COVID's almost over, right? So let's, let's move past that. I actually don't know what COVID's like in Germany. If a German is watching this, please let me know. If you are for or against more government mandates on COVID. Uh, besides that, Germany is saying, hey, we probably shouldn't, like, cut China off yet, because if we cut China off, then we're making them a bad guy. But right now, they're just a friend who's lost. And uh, while I get that, we're all friends on this earth, we're all neighbors who need help, uh, then maybe we should go over there and show them how, to, how we help? No. No, we can, I mean, we can tell them what we think for a long time, right? But at one point, we're going to have to, like, show them what we mean, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand uh, military politics. I understand, like, politics. I, I think everything, every politic is a foreign politic. Because even if it is, like, here in America, we're still settling opinions that feel foreign to other people. Right? Is that some weird logic? Maybe, but it's logic. Um, is there another global superpower we need to talk about? I don't really think so. I think I hit on all of them pretty well. Is this video long enough? I don't really care. Because it's going to get suppressed anyway. Because I don't think YouTube likes it when people say things about China that aren't exactly pro-China. And while I'm not being anti-China right now, I would say. I'm just saying China needs to start doing better. China is not too far gone yet. China is well within the realm of assistance, and we aren't exactly enemies yet. I'm just asking China to please stop fighting over this little tiny island. It's just, just wait a little longer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand the Chinese-Taiwanese politics. I don't understand what Taiwan even stands for. I just know I want a, a free world. A, a world of free people, not necessarily a world without borders. We need borders, we need government, but we need to be able to choose which government leads us. Right? Right? So, I don't know. There are probably people out there who, like, want to live in Russia or something. I don't know. Uh, okay. I didn't even mention Korea, North Korea, because they suck. I don't think they're a global superpower. I think they're just going to tag on to the losing side as soon as they can. Okay. Well, that's been this video. This video's over now. Thank you for stopping by. If you liked the way this video was, like framed and stuff, leave a leave a like if you think I should pick up my camera more and like walk around or whatever, leave a dislike. If you want to leave a comment saying anything about foreign politics, then please do. Uh, if you want to like share this video, that'd be pretty cool. If, if you just like how there's a cat randomly in some shots, then yeah, whatever. I don't know what I was going to say with that. You should subscribe though. Just doesn't matter if you like cats or not, you should subscribe. Um, okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and sticking with it. Uh, this video is over now. 
Uh, stop by tomorrow. I don't want to get cat hair on my lens. Uh, okay, okay, bye now.